since this is post-apocalyptic, it's assumed that the player would want around to do a dynamic effect. Post-apocalyptic, it would mean that something visualized thing, Fallout or Stalker, for example. Um, instead of having fixed items, which I thought made no sense in this context, the player would um, scavenge for items and build his own items from the parts. So instead, we move to the system. We have a number of archetypes. Uh, class of item, for example, and to end up in one class. Archetype range of for example, include crossbows, that sort of thing. Each type of item has a number of stats, damage, range, uh, whatever. So the person assigned the item chooses the statistics he wants to create, follows a set of particular rules, determined also by the skill amount of skills is put, and what kind of production equipment has available. Players are great language design about their own items, and some items actually compose of more than one part, which are separately designed. Uh, even something simple like, uh, say, a rifle, you have the rifle, you have the bullets, you have, for example, a long range rifle with armor piercing bullets, a short range rifle with um, follow point ammunition, or any permutation of the two. Here's an example of how crafting works. It looks scary in the beginning, but actually quite simple. You basically start at zero points, these are the stats you're going to get, and then you, on a point-by-point -point basis, following these rules, you buy or sell, kind of, whatever. So from this particular archetype, for a particular technological level, if you want to call it that, you can create a small hand crossbow, you can create a long-range crossbow, which takes ages to reload, you can go for a easier to reload one, but pay more with range, that sort of thing. The idea is to reward players. If the player knows what he's going to get into, he'll, he'll be able to plan accordingly, it also kind of gets more invested in owning and scavenging primary and it. it's unique instead of uh, a good thing that want. Something else, uh, combat, it's a very broad one, but just to go over it really quickly. Combat is quick, it's meant to be brutal, it's not meant to turn into a dice rolling contest. If you've spent more than, say, five rounds, you've done something wrong and you're probably dead. Uh, human body cannot take so much punishment. As I've said earlier, if you're going to combat unarmed and unarmored, you're going to be splattered across the walls. Uh, techniques, sneakiness, plan get has great reward. For example, you can target particular body parts, and obviously if the person doesn't know you're there, you want to finish his head and take him off one shot or whatever. Probably it's very broad. Uh, weapons might always wound their target, can have really large, say, hugs of people who can shrug off some things, or you could also use animation which is meant to wound more. Uh, you have armor, which reduces weapon damage, and armor piercing, which counters it. Grappling, tripping, disarming, and use other attacks. Sneaks attacks, as I mentioned. Darting body parts, where the opponent and whatever. Then you have explosions, poisons, and performance enhancing drugs, which are handled realistically, including the overdoses. That's not fun. <laughs> uh, quick note on the character system. have a number of different skills as games are wanted to do. Um, they attempt to be very broad for with multiple uses, for example, the same skill for searching or observing, even if you smell them or whatever, they're the same skill instead of having four separate ones. The game gets you to have a broad range of skills and some specialization. You, you don't want to have a one-trick pony, even whatever. Adapt to situation. As I've said, you have no class system. Instead, you have a system of perks. These are special abilities where each particular point, you get to pick one. They're uh, special attacks or Bonuses to skills or bonuses because under particular conditions. Uh, they're kind of like uh, feats and dungeons and dragons, me. So, now assuming I've encouraged you enough to want to try it out, uh, it's really some of the creative comments. You can download it from the website, www.exogenedenight.com. It's named after the um, place you learn adventure, Exogenesis Denied, since they crashed. You can do whatever you want with it, you can print it, you can share it, you can give it to your friends, whatever. I usually tend to bring it with me at games night, so if you just want to talk to me and want to try a really quick uh, demonstration or whatever, just talk to me. And that is about it. I just kept it short on purpose. Questions? I have never uh, played Nuggets and Dragons, but I've read about it. Uh, so it contains like a series of uh, characters and a monster, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, basically you have a, a board and then traverse this board. Uh, the board is mostly used to, to add visualize. You can play a technique without the board, just describe it. 